Hey there, darling. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, are you thinking of starting your own channel in 2021? Are you just frustrated that your ideas are not making sense or you don't know what ideas or how to take your ideas and translate them into a video? And beyond just translating your ideas and your passion and everything that you do love through video, you know that YouTube can be an entire business in the future. But before it becomes any of that, we need to start. I have three simple steps for you to just follow for your comfort and begin the YouTube journey. So, before I even start, I just want to share with you, I'm a very small channel, but if it's anything about YouTube that you'll never regret is starting because it's such a beautiful um, platform for you to learn so many skills and it makes you so aware of what is happening around you and how things are happening and also just getting to learn how people are creating things out of nothing in spaces that no one would ever even think of. And a lot of people start their channels on their their spaces at home and they still do that it's just that their equipment and all of that just upgrades and they start working with bigger companies and dealerships and they start really collaborating it becomes really their life but when you start it's obviously a hobby and you progress to how you want to make it a business but you will you will never regret starting youtube let's go right to the very first step for you to stop youtube to start youtube in 2021 so the very first thing that you really want to do is to get everything that's here on paper so brainstorming how i did my brainstorming and how i've heard other youtube youtubers excuse me always advise you just sitting down and first of all look at your page and what youtube always suggests to you because that's things that you are genuinely interested about and then think about you and yourself just genuinely the kind of conversations that you have with people what are you always trying to, what kind of points are you trying to always get across or what kind of information are you looking for those are things that you are naturally gravitating towards and that's going to be the beginning of your youtube base like for instance if i'm into fashion if i'm into runway if i'm into art dance if i'm into presentation production if i'm then also into branding and marketing how can i mesh those two worlds if those are the things that i'm always talking about in my world then how do i bring them together um and then at the same time how can it be of value to you part of your thought process in stage number one is also again like i said how can your content that you want to create be of value to the people that will be watching it because people on youtube come here to search for things get advice for entertainment and there are other things that happen but you need to know your niche so actually don't even stress about no 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 don't even stress about the niche when you start it's not even about the niche it's really about you and what you want to what kind of points you get, want to get across there and it's trying to define it as much as you can because the second step which is also important it's converting all your ideas into searchable content people that come into the platform because you know that youtube is the second biggest um search engine when they come here they actually search for specific things so you want to know what are people searching for and will they get your video how are even people getting your video after you've created it and that is exactly why you want to create things that you love that you are passionate about into things that are going to be of value and how do you do that is taking your ideas and really changing them into questions or advices or whatever it may be you know um and this is where your titling of your videos will be very very important so do that kind of research as well what are people looking for and after you know that, how can you create that to be a beautiful punchline that people get to click on? You know what I'm saying? And your thumbnails, how does it look? You compare when you search yourself and that search, um, search has 
a lot of videos well, how do the other thumbnails look like it's also part of your research on youtube is very important researching researching research it's always you always researching to see how you can stand out and if the information that you are uploading is actually going to get to people because you don't want to now create a video i've done it a lot i'll be very honest where the video is not going to get anywhere no one is going to see it because no one searches for that only when you have a very big audience that knows you and those are habits that can be really done by very big youtubers not small youtubers and definitely not beginners so yes and taking your first step second step and your final step when you now have thought about it and you've now cre and you've converted it into searchable content and you've now divided it into let's say video one two three four five six because you want to be able to plan at least 10 videos that you can do and you can see what kind of trends you have in those 10 videos then your final step is to collect everything that you have to actually record edit and upload you don't have to stress yourself when it comes to this point it's the third and it's the final point when it comes to recording which is your first step i record on my cell phone and that's what i've been doing since the beginning of time on youtube i think i only have one or two videos that i had a camera when i was still with my sister in cape town but now in johannesburg i don't own a camera i shoot on my phone and it is what it is because i if I don't shoot now, when will I ever shoot? So if you have an iPhone, um, because it's usually very good um, for shooting, I started using my iPhone 8. Um, if you have an iPhone 7, 6, I know a lot of people that still use the 6 actually. So I think if you have an iPhone 6 and above, that will, it's enough for you to begin with. That's your recording. The one thing that you wanna help yourself with when it comes to recording is natural lighting. Of course, find the best part that has natural lighting. I don't live in a space that has gorgeous natural lighting at all. So I use a little bit of um, lighting from my side just a small tiny ring light honestly it's tiny you don't have to stress yourself about getting equipment there and there whatever you have just use and then when it comes to editing editing your video i use video leap and iMovie depending on where i am and how i feel and what should be done they are 100 percent free if you want editing software that is expensive you can go for that if you have it use it but don't stress yourself with something that you really cannot afford it's also not about that it's really about the content that you produce people just want valuable content that makes sense that they can understand they can hear they can enjoy they can laugh at they can dance to they can whatever music all of the possible youtube content that you've also seen that's something that someone eventually watches something someone that wants to watch so when it comes to you you also don't want to stress yourself about it you want to be able to record edit and then when you're done with all those edits make it as simple to the point and let the story make sense to your audience and to yourself also would you really share this idea or this story in this way and if yes then you're on the right way path sorry and after you've recorded and you've edited and you're ready to upload and your video 10 to 15 minutes if you can um, up like record and upload something like that you are on the right way at your beginning and after that you really are going to start learning your tricks and traits of YouTube there are so many but in terms of simpleton and you haven't started three easy simple ones think about it brainstorm it put it on paper convert your ideas into searchable content after that your final stage take your phone record edit and upload and then boom your YouTube journey is literally gonna begin because from there you're gonna start having one subscriber two subscribers 10 subscribers, 100, 1,000, it goes to 10,000, it, it never stops. The more you understand what you're doing and what you're giving to the people, the more you grow. But you can only understand what needs to be understood when you upload your very first video. I challenge you to do that and you'll see how your life can absolutely change. And remember, it's not supposed to be easy. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you have any questions on any other possible um, things that you think you should be knowing before you start YouTube, I can answer them on, your, on, on the comment box below. Please don't forget to subscribe down below, click that bell button so that you can get my instant notifications whenever I do upload. Also, I do have videos in my channels. Go check them out. Mwah!
darling. Oh, <laughs>